One of South Africa's greatest ever footballers, Lucas Khadebe, is a sporting icon in South Africa, and he has achieved legendary status both with the national team Bafana Bafana as well as with his English team Leeds United. Lucas is known for his talent, his courage, his warm personality, his willingness to work with others, and his loyalty. The sporting personality joins us this evening to take a look back on his sporting career as well as an event that he will be hosting in his home township, Dipkloof in Soweto, in a couple of days' time. Luki, Hi, I pleasure, pleasure, no, pleasure to pleasure is all connect money. with you money. once again. No, and, uh, you know, I, I could talk about so many things. The first thing that comes to my mind is Ru. I don't recall asking you a question about where the name comes from. <laughs> Did I? Maybe I've forgotten. Ru, uh, tell me. I know. Um, uh, I mean, uh, uh, um, Zulu descent. Yes. And um, before, it was called Lu. But Lu was a little bit, I mean, Lu, you talk about it. Right? Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, but then uh, from, from Khadebe. Yes. And then they, they, they came up with, with, with Ru. So there was always that debate, is it Lu or is it Ru? <laughs> okay. So for me, it was better uh, Ru yeah, than, than, than Lu. Than and the then since then. Yeah. Yeah, that's well, you know, I don't know. I just had a feeling that there must be a story around this name, Ru. Yeah. I, I, I never heard anything from yeah. anyone about it. <laughs> well, when you go to this side of Kwasi Dunatari, it's like, yes. Ulu. Oh, oh, I see. <laughs> so it's Ru would make, make better sense. Exactly. Right? Yeah, but anyway, Lu would not have been bad, depending if you're in the United States, then they will think of and people, it, yeah. Lou Donaldson, Lou Rawls, and so forth. Yeah. Much as they used to yeah. tease him too and say, toilet paper, Lou <laughs> Rolls, toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that <laughs> as well. But. but good to catch up yeah. with you. And, uh, you know, you heard in my intro, the feeling remains um, in, in, you know, in our people that you are one of the sporting greats. They're very proud of you, as you know. And, and it's been some time that you've not been on the playing field. And it shows some consistency on your part for people to not forget who you are and continue respecting you as a human being and an individual. How do you feel about that? No, I feel, I feel great. But uh, firstly, uh, uh, Tim, you know, I had a privilege uh, uh, to, play, to play sport, mm. you know, to be basically, uh, uh, food, to play football. I mean, coming from uh, uh, a sporting family, you know, Deep Kloof, uh, and, and the schools gave me that opportunity. Uh, that's where I started uh, playing football. And since then, I mean, I've learned from 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 our backgrounds at home. You know, I mean, you know, as parents, mm. you know, there's there's values. The parents are strict. The parents want this. They don't want you to play football. They want you to concentrate on education. But again, those are the values. You know, with the country, what's been happening during the time of apartheid. Mm. You know, those are the uh, some of the things that hone uh, my skills, the character. You know, to to be able to play football. You know, and and actually. Uh, overcome some of the challenges that are faced. I, I'm not blaming anybody, but we know that when people become personalities, celebrities, it's very difficult to maintain a, some form of discipline, you know, and uh, be able to work hard and achieve your goals and achieve the success that you have achieved, even beyond the time of celebrity, so to speak, because, you know, the thing that fuels it is the fact that you are playing. Exactly. But when you are not playing, the respect continues. Many of your colleagues have not been able to do that. I'm not blaming them, but that's the way it goes. No, Tim, it's a difficult industry, uh, football, especially if you, if you play at the highest level, you know, where uh, the, the challenges, you know, are very tempting. Uh, and those are the challenges sometimes that they can lead you astray. Mm. They can lead you off track, you know, and, and, and your career f falls apart. But, if you have a, a goal uh, to achieve, because I, my parents wanted me to be to be a doctor, mm. but I disappointed them because I, I, I did something, I, I became a footballer. Yes. But what I told myself is that if I'm going to be a footballer, so one thing that I've learned from home, which is discipline, you know, all those great values, mm. is to make sure that I give 100% in what I do. And whether we can, we can, whether... I mean, the attitude has to be right. Uh, whatever I do, I have to do it in a way that uh, uh, I don't disappoint. Mm. And, and, and I know that the benefits is just on not only benefiting me, you know, it's benefiting the family, it's benefiting everybody, mm. uh, my siblings, which is, I think, 
uh, uh, for me, it was a greater picture. Well, and of course, benefiting a lot of people who feel great that they have a hero in you. What have you been up to? You haven't been playing for some time, and uh, when we, our national team is battling in the way that it is, somewhere people feel, why is Lucas and some of his former colleagues, why are they not cracking the whip somehow and just getting in there and cleaning up whatever needs to be cleaned up? What is different between what is happening with the national team now to what was happening in your time with Neil Tovey and the other guys? Because, you know, we could bet on you, yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Whether you wanted to win or not, we expected that win anyway. So we could sleep at night knowing that the job will be done the next morning or yeah. the next afternoon. Yeah, I think, I think that's a great question because um, I think during our time, uh, we, we, had, we had great challenges. Uh, and we had to overcome some, uh, most of them. Uh, as, as I said, that it was during the time where uh, we, the country just uh, came into democracy. It is new, there's Madiba. We had a new inspiration mm. in which some of the players, especially now, they don't have such challenges. So they reach that level where it's comfortable for them. Mm. The money is there, you know, the, the facilities are absolutely brilliant. So I don't think they see the need to go over and above what they want to achieve. Mm. You know, and they, st they, they become a bit static and, and, and not really rich uh, or, or challenges uh, uh, their career mm. in, in going uh, further. But, but you can't blame them again because I think the way football has gone now, it's, 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 there's, there's a, a, a big uh, inje a cash injection in, in, in football. It's big business. And each and every one of them, they're looking at, at benefiting themselves. Yes. And, you know, and which it distract uh, their focus mm. uh, to where they want to go. Or, because, I mean, if, it, there's no, if you look at it in the game, there's no loyalty anymore. There's no accountability yes. anymore. We, yes. And the passion is, is gone, yeah. you know, which, we, which is a worry. But I think some of us, yes, we would love to get, because you know, Tim, I, I think most of people expect ex players to be coaches, to be mm. involved. And, and I've always set a stall for myself and said, you know, I, I, I'm not going to be a coach because that's not my passion. Yes. But my passion lies in developing the structures of football. Sure. Because I think for me, it's better. But there are those who like, uh, I mean, Tinkler, mm. Uh, mm. Uh, Sean Bartlett, who's taken uh, coaching and uh, done absolutely fantastic and great to them. But yes. whether these uh, current players will actually take that responsibility, uh, we're not sure well, about I that. Well, I suspect it might be reflective on the, on the times as well, you know, because as you said, where we started, uh, if you use 94 as the yeah. benchmark, there was hope, aspiration, expectation, and you had to deliver the goods from that point of view. Now, at least in practical terms, you have taken all the things that you've told me about and you are channeling them to the tournament that you are having on Thursday, right? Yes. In, uh, in Soweto. Tell me more. I mean, there are eight schools that are taking part there. There's, there's eight schools that are taking part. Uh, seven of them are from Deep Kloof. I mean, that's, uh, that's where I come from. Yeah. And the one is the, a school from Orlando, Orlando High. Mm. You know, during the uprising, that was the one school that was involved. Mm. And, uh, and uh, we, we thought, you know, it'd be great uh, for them to get involved. Mm. Because moving forward, we wanna grow the tournament. But uh, what we wanted to do is to create the interest, uh, not only for the, the school's football, but as well for the community. I mean, this is where, uh, in Deep Groove Zone 5, where I played against Shoes Michelle, who playing for Namedi, Madibani High School, you know. Some of the great players who, 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 have, who have played in the top leagues, uh, they've they've uh, graced uh, those facilities and and for me, especially in June the 16th, it's it's in memory of my mother. Mm. You know, she was uh, she was a community builder. Uh, she owned a football team, mm -hmm. a, a netball team, a choir, crutch. She did everything, and uh, I think for me it was fitting that uh, you know for a start. You know, I do, I do not only for, for, for that, but uh, the community of Deep Blue, those are where I've started playing yes, football yes. and the facilities uh, where I've started, you know, just to, to uplift and, 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 and get 
more uh, uh, participation, more than anything else, you know, used to, to participate. I mean, you know the challenges in the townships. You know, but, but so, uh, so this is going to be what format? It's a knockout type challenge? It's a knockout, it's a knockout uh, 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 challenge where you got, I mean, it starts half past nine in the morning, yeah. uh, the kickoff, uh, until around, I think we're looking at the final to be, I think to kick off around quarter to three or three o'clock, where there be there be knockout and then um, and then the the winning school gets obviously the, the trophy the floating trophy and then we, we we getting we're giving them the the certificate of participation each and every one of them but uh, but again it's we need the teachers and the students to yeah. be involved and, and, and the community have they been prepared to come I mean they know that this is coming right. We, At we, least the schools themselves. The schools know. Because they've they, got to come. I remember in the past, I mean, yeah. it's one thing to play, but you exactly. also need the cheerleaders. Exactly. And all these wingos around there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, we just, uh, last week we had a meeting with all the, uh, the, 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 the teachers and, and the, the, the sports masters, mm. they call, because we, we, we used to just to turn up. Uh, for us, we used to just turn up. And, uh, mm. But now, I think, because of... The disruptions. There wasn't much of football played in the schools mm. uh, recently. So, yes, the organisation was a bit of a, of a challenge. But we made sure that uh, we we alerted them in time and we got in, in touch with them and have meetings with them so that they can. Is this a once-off event or it's going to be repeated going forward? Team, I've been longing to do something for the for, for Deep Proof. I think everybody else, because of being an ambassador for most of the brands, I've been mm. doing stuff in Durban, yeah, all over Cape the country. Town, and, and, so. they, and, and I come home, yeah. people at Deep Proof said, but what about and us? And then Urbe Lega. Uruna, Khanti, Smogo, Utswakai, Utswate. Khanti, Smogo, hey. what's going on with yeah. So, so Kibato, it's an annual thing. Sure. Yeah, but obviously, grow. Uh, and and I, I think the most important thing is the facility. There, where where it is, yes. Uh, Coco Zone Five, you could tip proof where I think it will attract yeah. a lot of people and and the community brings the the community well, together. Let's tell the homeboys and girls it's happening on the 16th of June. Zone Five, Deep Kloof, Lucas Khadebe, going back to the roots and hosting the tournament. Everything of the best, and I uh, hope you'll give us feedback then. No, I will do, definitely. All uh, right. team. I mean, uh, it's great that uh, I get the support of uh, people like you, and I uh, and hope it'll be a great success, and, and we'll be able to, to unearth talent. Exactly, you know? and of course, mentorship, inspiration that we were talking about exactly. as well, people looking for that. Lucas Khadebe, much up. Ru! <laughs> 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 yeah, not Lou. <laughs> not Lou, Lou. <laughs> and, uh, from us, uh, good night until the next time. Good night to you. <laughs>